Hello, it's Mary and this is Booking Through Life and we are outside on location uh, today. Um, we are looking out at the desert. It has snowed, which is um, not a regular occurrence. It does happen. Uh, this isn't like a total anomaly, but uh, it only happens every maybe five years or so. I, I'll have to look up the stat. So, but I thought I would take you out here to see um, the mountains. There's a few people that are, this is a popular hiking spot. We're gonna have a little bit of um, um, cars. Here's somebody parking. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of an interesting video uh, today. And we're doing my um, February wrap up and maybe it will end up being too, um, too busy to have a good <laughs> quality video, but I thought it would be fun to do one out here in the desert, in the snow. So I'm feeling a little shy now and like maybe I don't wanna talk while this person's getting out, but this person doesn't know me, so what's the big deal? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to cover her up so that she's not on the video and then I will wait. There she goes. Okay. So the, um, I already talked about a couple of these books, so I'm just going to talk about them really fast and put um, a thumbs up. The first book that I read in February was Mr. Malcolm's List and I like, I liked it. I gave it a three. It was kind of fun, but it wasn't a great book. Um, and I already talked about that, so you'll have to look at, try to find my, I'm not gonna put any cards up, I'm not gonna do any post editing. Um, so you'll have to, if you're interested, this is a popular spot. If you're interested, you will have to um, uh, go back and look at one of my videos from the past. The next book I read was Graham Norton's A Keeper. I talked about this book too. This one I think I gave a three stars as well, but I'd give uh, Mr. Malcolm's List a three plus and this a three minus uh, for me. Um, it kind of took uh, a little bit of a Stephen King turn. And so, um, yeah, it just wasn't quite for me. It was riveting. It kept, I kept turning the pages, but it just wasn't, yeah, my kind of book. The next book I read was Daphne du Maurier's Jamaica Inn. I gave this a five star, two thumbs up. <laughs> um, it, it was riveting, um, it's gothic, it, uh, it has very interesting characters. Uh, it was part of the FOMO Club, which is hosted by Gemma of Gemma of Books, Jack at Spread Book Joy, and Alice in the Bo Giant Bookshelf. And, uh, I think um, doing the discussion, the live discussion with them just really added to my enjoyment. Um, it's about um, a young girl, she's 18, her name is Mary Yellen, and her mother has died, and so she's now an orphan. Her mother makes her promise that she will sell their farm. Uh, the farm had gone into a decline, and uh, that caused the mom to um, have a stroke, and she makes her daughter Mary promised that she'll go and live with her aunt Patience. And Aunt Patience was always um, a beloved aunt, and I'm in mud, and uh, she um, was kind of a fun-loving aunt, so, and she'd gotten married, they hadn't seen her in a while, and um, Mary goes, finds out that she's now living in the Jamaica Inn, um, they own it, her husband is the landlord of Jamaica Inn, and she discovers quite quickly that there's something not right going on in Jamaica Inn. Um, the, her, her aunt is no longer this um, a, a vivacious woman. She's now a shell of herself. Her husband is an alcoholic, he's abusive, and he's running some kind of um, uh, smuggling ring and you find out more and more about that as it goes along. He has a younger brother. Um, the uncle's name is Jess uh, Merlin. He has a younger brother named Jem. She meets him and there are some sparks that fly. Uh, but Jem is, uh, he's a horse thief. 
there it says in the back here he's a likable rogue who broke the law every day of his life so what is she going to do about that and there's a scene that um most the, the people who verbalized anyway in the FOMO club said that they didn't like and that's where um uh, she, Mary kind of sneaks out and goes with Jim. He's selling one of his horses. I thought it was hilarious because it was so unbelievable. It was so over the top, but it it added a little comic relief to the to the story. And that's that he would. Sorry, spoiler alert here. Uh, he would um, somehow disguise the horses. I guess he would dye their hair. He did, didn't give details so that the horse would look different and he ends up selling the horse back to the person he thieved it from so i thought that was kind of funny uh, but mary is very uh she's very moral she's very upright she's very um she's a very strong character and people thought that she wouldn't have gone along with that but she thought it was funny i thought it was funny too we're both marys what, what can we say anyway i really like this book i won't give too many spoilers uh there is um kind of a, a mysterious uh, parson or, or um, preacher in it. He's an albino and uh, yeah, he makes for an interesting, he, he kind of seems like a friend, he, but he's kind of creepy if you ask me. So uh, anyway, I, if you have not read Jamaica Inn, I highly recommend it. It was very good. The next book that I read was for the um, Kindred Spirit Book Club, and that was The Pursuit of Love by Nancy Mitford, and I ended up DNFing this book. I tried very hard to like it. Um, I wanted to like it, uh, but uh, the characters for me were just really odd. They were not very believable. They're not very likable for me, um, and they were very one-dimensional. I never really got hooked into this story. And uh, there was one uh, phrase that I really liked that I wrote down, and that was um, herbaceous enthusiasms, <laughs> or if you prefer, herbaceous enthusiasms. <laughs> very enthusiastic. Uh, one of the characters was very enthusiastically talking about herbs. <laughs> and then the final, oh, two more books. I, I, I've talked about this before. I read one third of Prince Harry's Spare. I need to get back to that one. And then my mom and I are reading um, Jane Austen, uh, Jane Austen, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. We're almost done and been really enjoying that. And that's it. That's my February wrap up. Let's just take one more look around at all the beauty. We have uh, we have mountains surrounding um, our town, our city, and so once the um, clouds all lift, we will have a 365 degree <coughs> view of um, snow-capped mountains. And some of them are, are far off, um, but some of them are relatively close. And it's just gorgeous to see the saguaro cactus um, with snow on it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. And I'll catch you again. Um, I, I had a video, my, my March TBR. It had uh, 15 minutes of black um, screen on it. And so I took that one down. I'm going to try to figure out what went on. I'm putting my books back in my bag. I'm trying to figure out what went on with the post processing and get that one back up. Um, as soon as possible. That's it for today. Uh, thank you for coming on location with me. I hope all of your books are good books and I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye!